Good morning, little baby. Oh, he's a sweetie, but he's not too happy with Daddy because I'm not letting him outside because Daddy has to go someplace a little far away up north from here, Traverse City. Yeah, for work, and I'll be there overnight. So, got to keep you inside, little boo. Can you vacuum while I'm gone, please? It needs Look, we got some fur and some other stuff on here. Oh, what a cutie bear. We'll play a little bit in the meantime. I'm trying to tie you up before I go, little boo. You'll be the man of the house for just a little while, okay? I'll be back before you know it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He likes the paper end versus the worm end. He plays the worm end a little bit, too, but he prefers the paper end, don't you, little boo? Oh, boy. He's a little distracted right now. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> nice job, little boo. Oh, he's a skill. Kitty's got skills, doesn't he? Whoa, whoa. He's pretty snappy. You're like a snake. In fact, you're faster than a snake. I think I, the slowest cat reflex is still faster than the fastest snake reflex. Isn't that true, little boo? That's what I heard. That's what I heard on, on the computer. <laughs> the internet. Whoa. Oh, boy. Now I'm saying it again. <gasps> whoa. Is he going to go for it? Is he not sure? Oh, hi. His flea and tick meds are fairly well soaked in there now, aren't they, little boo? And we'll also do a little treat time before we go, okay? Well, I left extra food for you, just in case. <laughs> oh, here he comes. I wasn't sure if he's going to oblige. Oh, the first one. <laughs> we'll leave a couple around the house per tradition when I have to go for a little while. He usually finds them before Daddy goes. Try to be more strategic, okay? And your nose is looking much better, little boo. Yes, it is. Here's another for the baby. Oh, kitty bear. One more for now. Oh. Can you water the plants too for Daddy? Oh, thank you. Little baby. We're squeezing one more little playtime in. <laughs> Is he gonna get the little broken butterfly? Oh no. Oh no, I think it stopped. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> this is, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Where'd it go? He's wondering where it went. Here, little boo. Oh boy, there it is. Beep. What's he doing? Whoa. Oh, he's got it. Looks like I caught a catfish. Whoa, my goodness. He's a crazy kitty. This is good to tire him out before Daddy has to head out for a while. Yeah. Oh, boy. He's got all that energy after sleeping all night, don't you, Boone? He got a couple treats still. He found a few, but there's some over there, and I put some up on the top floor as well. Whoa. By the pickle. That pickle's kind of a big deal, huh? <laughs> That's what it says, anyway. All right. All right, Boo Daddy's got to head out now, okay? He'll be a good little monster, okay? Daddy loves you, and I'll see you when I get back, okay? Won't be too long. Oh, boy. That's later, little boy. When I come back, I'll let you. We'll see you soon, little buddy, okay? Cinnamon certainly would appreciate that, son. It is a beautiful day perfect day to be on the road especially when I headed up north here just checked into the hotel room the usual hotel I stay at in Traverse City is booked for tonight so they put me in this place which is wonderful this is what $350 a night is and this is I think a three-star hotel but it's not bad I don't know if they remodeled this room but got a nice television set and a cool little office area here and there's also a shuttle which takes me downtown See what kind of a view we got over here. Got the lake over there. We'll have to walk over there later. There's the shuttle. Oh, it's a Mercedes Benz. Of course, I would expect no less in this place. So it's funny. There's a little bit of a mix up with the, I don't know, the payment, I guess. And so long story short, they profusely apologized. And I was patient, you know, and she was really nice. So it is what it is. While I was waiting, they gave me a complimentary sparkling wine drink, which was really nice. But yeah, it looks like we have people from different states here. People are friendly here too. I ran into some folks in the elevator who were really nice. Yeah, the only thing that's missing is Cinnabon. 
he probably wouldn't enjoy the travel, but I bet this room would be fun. I got a nice soft bed. It's like dual queens and I'm always nervous about this. I don't dare touch these. I think they might be wired to where you pick it up and it charges you a few hundred dollars. So breakfast starts at seven. But I think tonight I heard a rumor that there's a really fun pinball place across the street. So I think I'm gonna go over there and check it out. And see, you never know about this stuff. This looks really good. But I gotta believe when you touch this stuff, you get in trouble as far as you're gonna have to pay for it. I don't want to cause any additional unnecessary expenditures from the company, but it's cool. We even got a plant, and dare I say, wow, we got real plants. I've never seen a real plant. We got business folks here, I'm here for work, but starting from this moment, it's going to be pleasure until the morning, which will be breakfast, which will be fun, and then the windows are a little dirty too, but hey, so are mine. Oh, oh, we got our squirrel friend, look at that. I saw another squirrel in the parking lot that had like an apple or something in its mouth. I'm actually kind of relieved I wore my fancy shirt that I got in Minneapolis. I do have blue jeans on it. I'm relieved they did not freak out that I had blue jeans on because this place is kind of a little fancier than I'm used to. I've been to four star hotels before and this one I think is a three star but I've been in four stars that were actually not as nice so that's pretty interesting. I think the star rating varies. Oh good I got an iron I might need that tomorrow but do we have a steamer? I don't think we do. The shirt that I have on today requires a steamer, but I'm not going to wear it tomorrow, so it'll be fine. We have the bathroom here. It looks like a handicapped toilet, which is what I prefer. It's what I have in my main bathroom at home. Wow, this is an interesting shower. Not as fancy as I expected, but it looks pretty nice. Got some fancy soap. Looks like cheese. We got toilet paper. Doesn't look like a fresh roll, but they folded it to look like it. <laughs> it's like a Christmas present. Here's some toilet paper. It's like during... Uh, the yeah, 2020 virus, I don't think you can say the C word anymore, but anyway, it looks like something like that because it was a, an expensive thing. Look at that mirror, is that a Wi-Fi mirror? I don't know what that is, kind of scares me. It's a smart mirror, there's probably cameras in there watching me, but you know, I'm filming it, so it's okay, we're even now. But yeah, I think it's just a, like a defrost. I, I don't know, I'm not really a fancy pants, if you can't tell. Cool, soap is something out of this world, what is this? French or Italian. Oh, okay, very cool. I guess time to explore the pinball place and figure out food too. There is a nice restaurant here. I may just stop there for a drink after a pinball. I don't think I'm gonna eat there. Oh, look at that. You can get a steamer if you need it and a sewing kit, which can come in handy if a button comes loose or off. I feel like we're on the ship. And in a moment when it focuses, you'll see why. Would you look at that view? The American flag. Some sort of a sailboat. Beautiful. Look at that. We can walk out there too. How cool. Got some construction going on, which makes the already horrific traffic in this area and this time of year worse. But you know, that's okay. Well, the son of my new angel's okay while I was in Traverse City. Oh, I think he did. I was only gone for one night. But anywho, this is sort of a weird little intermission if you will i'm not sure if that's a correct word but shortly after i recorded that clip the next day i believe it was we were talking about the construction of that street and the business i work for we oftentimes are involved in a lot of construction projects and i was told that that area had to shut down construction because they had found human remains bones and typically when they're discovered or that should always be a police matter when you see that you're supposed to call the authorities just in case it's a crime scene in this case, I didn't suspect anything like that or foul play because the bones are very old. They were not ancient. Sometimes remains and job sites are American Indian or Native American or indigenous people of this area. And they suspected that, but they actually figured out that it was, I think they call it modern, but it was over 100 years old. The skeleton, I don't know how intact the skeleton was, but they were able to find some pieces of little pieces of iron, which they determined were nails for the coffin, which is long gone. And a lot of times with these types of remains, you don't see a whole lot left. There might just be a couple bone fragments or even sometimes just darker soil. You can see little disturbances of the earth where the casket was or where they buried the individual or individuals in some cases, but pretty interesting. So it wasn't a crime scene, but the police came out there and then the project was shut down for a little bit, at least in that particular area. And I believe after the crime scene investigators were there, they called in the university to check it out. And it ended up being just a person that probably had some property over a hundred years ago. And so that's that. Look at that view. Beautiful. 
making our way to the coin slot pinball place. We'll have to see what they got there. Look at how beautiful this is. That boat sail almost looks like a paw. <laughs> a little cine sail. Kind of spooky here, I bet. Oh, and we got little duckies over there. We are downtown now. It's been a month and a half or so since I've been here with my friends. We made it. We have lots and lots of pinball to try out. I'm impressed by this game. It looked kind of boring. The play field is kind of empty in the middle, but it was there is still fun. I'm on the second ball right now. This one's also a lot of fun. Stern Pirates of the Caribbean. That ship will rock back and forth. Pretty cool feature. Alright, this one's pretty fun too. So far, these have all been great machines. Foo Fighters is a fun one. I've played this one before. Nice play field too. Godzilla by Stern is a legendary machine. I think I'm going to play this one again later. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's actually pretty fun. Just <laughs> this one wasn't too bad either. I prefer the Daddy East Star Wars though. Attack from Mars, another classic. This one was also really good. Well, would you look at that? This one looks a little familiar. This is a standard edition. Beautiful. That laser cut, I believe, guitar, I wish that was in the limited edition. It's definitely different. There's no upper play field on this version. The upper play field is supposed to be on this side if it was a collector's edition or the limited edition, but this machine is probably going to be the best one in the whole building, but that's just my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the standard edition artwork. It just looks kind of goofy, but this is probably one of the best pinball machines I've ever played. This one is my favorite Stern game of the evening. Oh, this one is great. Player one, you're up. Uh oh. This one's a newer machine, but it's made in a retro style, which I appreciate. There's so many more. I'm gonna try to play at least one of each. Fun game. Play this one next. All right, got on the scoreboard for this one too. Ooh, and I also got a free game too with the match. Of course, right when I had to go to the bathroom. We'll see if I get another one. Okay, good. I can go to the bathroom now. <laughs> Check this out. This has to be the first time this has happened, at least to me. I got a ball stuck. Can't really see it. Right underneath. Yeah, you really can't see it, but it's underneath this thing here. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can barely see it in there. I think it's broken. Yeah, it's wild. Well, gave me a new ball, so that's good, but wow, that's pretty weird. It looks like the rubber's off the post a little bit right there in the middle. All right, got a high score. Nice. <laughs> Look at Got a self smash, too. People love this one, but I am not a huge fan. It's okay, but I'm also very partial to the Data East version. All right, looks like I got another high score. Nice, and also got a ball stuck there. And I think I got a free game. What a beautiful evening. That Guns N' Roses machine wall, my favorite of the whole building was in a little bit of a state of disarray. But well, that's okay. I would love to see how Cinnamon would react to the beach. Probably wouldn't be a huge fan, but he would definitely be curious about it. Hello, friend. I didn't mean to startle you. That's a nice bunny. Hello. He's probably looking for food. There's plenty around here, you know. Yeah. 
It smells over here because of the dumpster. That's okay though. All right, you take care now. This is really cool. Would have came in handy in the arcade. It's a pretty fun place actually. I could probably spend a day or two here. There's the hotel, very nice. There's definitely some potty mouths at the bar, but you know, that's kind of what you get, I suppose. It's past nine o'clock, so a little more acceptable. Beautiful dark lake, Lake Michigan, this particular point. A couple nice little boats here. And I looked at the cameras, looks like Cinnamon's pretty much taking it easy. He was looking at the back sliding glass and it looked like I saw a beam too, so. They're probably chilling between the glass, which is good. It took me a long time. There are so many channels here at this fancy place. It took me like five minutes to find the travel channel. And when I did, it's just commercials, but that's okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, this ain't ghost stories. I'm not interested. This is what I came here for. Okay. Oh, must have been a Marvel movie. About to leave the hotel. It's a very nice stay. Nice morning out here in Traverse City. And it's time for me to go back to work. It looks like a mommy duck. Hello. Oh, get some breakfast too. Look at all those beautiful flowers and a Crimson King maple, I believe. Lots of traffic. What a beautiful view. But I don't know if you can see him. <gasps> but the baby's waiting for daddy in the window. Look at him over there. We're gonna go ahead and go talk to him. Oh, I'd like to go outside with him. He's gonna really want to go outside, but uh, maybe with the flashlight. But anyway, I gotta get inside, settle in. Little baby, come and see daddy. I missed the little monster. Oh, were you a good boy? Oh, gotta get his stretches in. Oh, little boo, we'll probably stay inside, okay? I know you want to go outside really bad, but it's getting too dark out there for the baby. <laughs> Yes, Teddy had a fun time in Traverse City. Yeah, normally I stay at the hotel. I think I explained it already. That's the Cracker Barrel, but they put me in another one. It'll be a fancy pants one. Yeah, it was a little out of place, but I had my good shirt on. Yeah, come over here. Tell me about your time, little boo. Did you do anything fun? Do you have any parties over? You feel super nice, little boo, because you don't have any birds he wants outside, man. All right, let me get my flashlight, little boo, and we'll just hang out in the yard for a little while, okay? Yeah. Come over here. I want to pitch you some more. Come here. Come here. He wants to go outside. He's like, I gotta take a huge dump and I didn't want to do it inside. But little boy got a litter box. Yes, you do. Okay, okay. I'll go out there with you in a moment, okay? Come here, sweetheart. Come here. Oh. And then afterwards, it was pretty cool. It timed perfectly where my grandma was sort of in town. She was a little bit south of there, a little southeast, about 45 minutes from Traverse City at my uncle's house, her great uncle, rather, her brother. And then we got to see their cool house. Yeah, a little boo. It's pretty cool. Oh, yes. Oh, he missed the daddy. Look, he does that when I'm gone for a while. Looks my hands for and arms for quite a while. <laughs> Mrs. Daddy. Huh, little boo. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's go outside enough. Ch -ch All right, little boo. Here we go. <laughs> How long have I been gone? I don't even know. Just one night, so it wasn't too bad. So, oh, hope you don't get any mosquitoes, little boo. Oh, yeah. You don't want any mosquitoes. I'll probably stay on the deck, okay, little boo? Yeah. And if you get too far, I'll snatch you up, okay? Actually, I'll, I'll kind of stay in the yard area. Yeah. Look at little boo. I got a flashlight so we can see at nighttime. How cool is that? <laughs> what a cute little duty, little bear. Huh. I'm pretty tired. I'm having trouble articulating. Wow. Which happens when daddy gets tired. Mm-hmm. Oh, little baby. He'd probably go crazy if I kept him inside one more night, so. 
we'll maybe spend five, ten minutes out here. Yeah. Do some kitty catching up, huh, my friend? Oh, what a kitty bear. Yes, he is. Want to come over here? Come on, come here, come here. Oh, no. Oh, boy. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's the baby to do? What's the baby going to do? Yeah, it's a little cooler now. I wonder if that killed the mosquitoes or at least uh, sent them away for a little while because normally I'd be eaten alive and I'm holding a flashlight so it's probably a beacon for them. Yeah. Anywho, I'm sure this video is long enough so I shall end it. Thank you all for joining. I hope you're having a good time and being safe out there, huh? Well, yeah. How about you, little boy? That's speaking of safe. I gotta keep an eye on you because it's nighttime. It's not that late, but don't want him outside by himself. No. No, not at nighttime, little boo. Yeah, there's bad things outside sometimes. Yes. And sometimes that's you <laughs> from the perspective of the small little rodents out there and birds. Yeah, I just saw something over there. I don't know. Could have been my imagination. Well, yes, yeah, so I'm a little tired. Uh-huh. I had an energy drink at lunchtime because I knew I'd be driving kind of later at night. And I wanted to make sure that I was perked up enough to be safe, which I probably would have been anyway, but just in case. So I may have a little trouble sleeping tonight, little boo. So I'll have to have a cool slumber party. He's probably a, a tick-free kitty right now, too, because right now this time of year, not a lot of ticks. And also he was inside for... Well, quite a while, yes, yeah, a little boo. What a cutie bear. Are you going to hop up on the railing? Yeah. Come on, come on. That's okay. Come up there. Come on. Oh, boy. Whoa. <laughs> little monster kitty. We don't really need the light, do we, little boo? No. And I can pet you. Yes. Oh, what a little cutie patootie. Well, it's pretty dark, though, isn't it? Well, thank you, everybody, once again for watching. We hope everything is well in your world and everyone's being safe and healthy. Huh, little boo? Yeah. Bye-bye for now. Oh, son of a boo, do I say bye bye? Who is like, who are you calling little? <laughs> oh, such a cutie bear. I don't think you can see him right now. Look at my arm again. He misses daddy. He's just letting you know he missed me. Oh, yeah. Thanks for washing my arm. Yeah, so we have well water here. And I spent the night in the hotel, of course, so I showered in the morning in city water. So he's probably thinking, what's going on? You smell different. Oh, well. It's that chlorine little boo in the city water. Yeah. It's not overloaded with calcium like our water happens to be out here. <laughs> but I suppose that's good for the bones, huh, little boo? Yeah. Night night, little boo bear. Sweet dreams, okay? Yeah, little snuggle bop. Mm-hmm.